Hey there folks, it's Antar and I've got a new doubles battle for you. My opponent is Zeri Jean. I've had a doubles battle with him before. It was using my other doubles team where I utterly devastated him with Anger Point Tauros. But this is usually my non-crazy team, so I'm hoping that this will be a little bit, a little bit more balanced. He leads off with a Togit, uh, Togit Tick and um, a, uh, whatchamacallit, Miss Magius. Miss Magius burns Mikhail and my Gallade, which is less than fortunate, but it happens. I go ahead and use Blizzard with my Rotom Frost Form. It hits both of his Pokemon, which is awesome, and I get the Freeze Hacks on his uh, Togetic, which is awesome. So I get off my Trick Room, and again, awesome. So I've got my Trick Room up. A lot of his Pokemon are going to be faster, so it's really going to be great for me. I'm going to go ahead and switch out Angler here, because um, Mikhail, now that he's burned, can't really do anything. So I'm going to need to heal Bell if I want him to be able to hit hard at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Discharge here, just to get off super effective damage against his Alice. It doesn't actually KO, which I'm really surprised about. That thing is definitely running EVOI, and it's as anything. Anyway, Caracosta is great in doubles because it does carry the wild, uh, the wide guard, and so I think he's going to be able to block my move. He's going to dethaw this turn. I'm going to go ahead and T-Bolt just to try to take out the thing, but it survives, which is just amazing. And yeah, uh, wide guard blocks uh, the attack, so both of his Pokemon are surviving, and Tachikoma is going to get taken out the next turn unless I do something. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out into my Musharna. Uh, as he goes for the Rock Slide, hoping for some flinch damage, I guess, also knowing that it would KO. And, interestingly enough, his Alice goes for an Ancient Power, just really worried about uh, his Rock Slide missing, I guess. I go ahead and take out his Karakasa, because I know how deadly those things can be, even without Shell Smash. He sends out his Verizion, which is probably the biggest threat on his team. He does have the uh, Follow Me, after all. I'm going to go ahead and take it out anyway with the um, Psychic. I was kind of worried about that Follow Me throughout the game, but I'm glad that I finally took it out. Uh, Ice Beam, even though it's super effective, isn't really doing anything because his um, Verizion is so bulky. I mean, it's Verizion, Verizions are bulky. So I'm going to go ahead and call Angler back, knowing that it could Giga Drain me, and that would be awful. And indeed, he is going to go for the Giga Drain at plus one. It's not going to really do that much. Uh, I'm actually really impressed by the workup Verizion set. I think it's, I, I personally think it's actually superior to the Calm Mind or Swords Dance sets. Uh, I actually have just finished breeding a Calm Mind Verizion, but maybe I'll... Not breeding, I'm sorry. Training of Calm Mind Verizion. Um, I might swap it out. Anyway, so the battle is really not going my way right now. Uh, the Trick Room is down. I've just lost a whole bunch of Pokemon in quick succession. But uh, Kazulu is a survivor, puts his um, Scissor to sleep as I send out Mikhail to go for another Trick Room. Kazulu is going to get called back as I send out Hatterack. Uh, and I'm just gonna hope that the regenerator health is going to be enough that I can bring it in later and it'll actually survive something. My opponent goes ahead and Giga Drains against Mikhail. Mikhail takes that fairly well. I think it's running max HP, max uh, attack, but it's still pretty bulky. It survives, and I, he, I, I get off the Trick Room, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go for Rock Slide just to hope for the Flinch Hatch. I'm going to go for the Fire Punch here. He carries the Aqua Berry, and that is going to save his Scissor's life, even though I'm burned. That's going to do a hell of a lot of damage, considering I am running max attack. I believe Adam, and I don't think it's brave. And yeah, so Mikhail's losing more and more health each turn, but I am going first because uh, I am running a slower set. Going to go for the Fire Punch here, take out a Scissor before it has a chance to wake up, and that really, really is excellent. He actually got a little bit hacks there in terms of that sleep was a longer sleep than most sleeps are. I, I lost count whether it was a three or four turn of sleep. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Mikhail's gonna die here thanks to Burn. My Glade is down. Hatterack is not doing too well, but I'm pretty sure he's. No, he's down to his last two. No, he's got three Pokemon left. Uh, this actually is interesting. His Glade traced uh, my Hatterack's ability rather than Angler's. I hypothesized earlier that Trace hy uh, traces the ability of the opponent on the opposite side directly across from me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe it's true in triples, though. I don't know. Anyway, he's down to his last two Pokemon here. Hatterax Gyro Ball, thanks to the fact that it's um, running a sassy nature with an Iron Ball, it actually does a whole lot of damage. 
I do a little bit of swapping here. Gonna go ahead and take out his Marissa before it has a chance to do anything else. His, he's gonna go for the Calm Mind, and I'm just gonna hope that I can KO on the next turn. Twisted Dimension return to normal, that's less than fortunate. Psy Shock is obviously going to KO Kazulu, but he, I knew he could only KO one of my Pokémon. Oh, wait, that, that, that swapped out because there was a red card involved. I get the burn hacks here, which is hilarious, and it is going to allow me to win the match. It was a really close battle. Great games, Zeri Gene. Uh, if you want to battle again, just PM me and let me know. Uh, folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.